What is going on, buddy? Welcome back to All Things Film. Today, I'm here to do my review of Fear the Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 11, titled The Code. Um, this episode was the start of Morgan's journey back to Alexandria. But before I get further into it, I will give a spoiler warning in case you haven't seen the episode or you aren't caught up with Fear the Walking Dead. But other than that, let's begin. So overall, I did enjoy this episode. You know, we got new characters. Morgan was good. It was kind of funny. There was some stuff that I didn't like, and I'll talk about that as well. But for the most part, I did enjoy this episode. Um, um, but let's start off in the beginning. So this episode actually picks up where episode 9 left off when Morgan was talking to Alicia and then the storm hit. And then Morgan went off on his own. And then he was sleeping in the back of a truck to escape the storm. And he wakes up in Mississippi, which is, you know, far away from Texas. But he's already getting closer to Alexandria. And he wakes up at a bus stop or a truck stop and he meets these new characters. And he inside this truck stop, it's like a bunch of supplies, food, water. It's really like organized place. And um. These new characters are really doing well for themselves. And, you know, Morgan meets them and we got three new characters. We got Jim, Sarah, and Wendell. And let's, t I want to talk about all three of these characters, but I'll, I'll save Jim for last because he was a very interesting slash weird slash kind of annoying character. But I don't know exactly how I feel about these characters just yet because it was only one episode for them. But yeah, for my first impression, I thought Jim was a little weird. <laughs> um, or not weird, but like he was an interesting character. I'll talk about him in a second. But let's talk about Sarah and Wendell because I did like these two. I thought the interactions between these two were funny. The dialogue between these two were funny. They were a bit of a dick to Morgan, but you know, um, I still did enjoy these characters um, seeing them on screen because um, there's been a lot of talk about these characters, you know, for the, for the last couple of weeks so now finally finally seeing them i did enjoy them but um i yeah i definitely love the dialogue in this episode especially between morgan and these new characters because it was kind of funny because um when morgan and wendell first met they were kind of they kept repeating each other over, over and over again about their radio because they didn't understand what was going on about the radio because morgan thought he heard somebody which he did but i kind of found that funny and then also when uh, Sarah walks in, she says something like, I see that you met my brother or something like that. And then Morgan goes like, brother? And then uh, Wendell's like, yeah, twin. So, you know, I did like a dialogue between the characters. It was kind of funny. Um, and then obviously, if you see that, if you saw the episode, you know, they kind of turned on Morgan to trick him. But Morgan did redeem himself. And I'll talk about that towards the end because Morgan was kind of in a dilemma. Um, in this episode, but let's talk about Jim for a second as well, because Jim was a very weird, interesting character because he was, um, I think it's safe to say that he is, um, an alc a beer addict. I don't know if he drinks beer, but he brews beer. The character is a, a, a beer brewer and Wendell and Sarah's character actually stole a recipe from him and kind of tied him or wanted the recipe from him and tied him up. And, um, that's why in that trailer, we saw that he was tied up and I actually predicted that right in my predictions video. I thought that Wendell and Sarah were, you know, we're gonna, you know, kind of turn on Morgan and this guy. And they, and he did. Um, but let's talk, but yeah, he kept preaching about beer, which was just so weird. Like, almost to the point, I mean, I mean, I understand, like, I understand a little bit, but he was doing it a little way too much. And I was like, is this guy serious right now? Like, it was going a little over the top with that. But yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see what's going on with these characters. But, um, they wanted to go to Alexandria or they wanted to go where Morgan was because this character, um, and I love the interactions with Morgan. And I think a lot, ha a lot of that has to do with Morgan because he's such a good character. Like he, he's so good with people and he's like, he meets so many new characters. And uh, I mean, I think Morgan's awesome, but yeah, he, he was talking, he was talking to these people about Alexandria because they were talking about, or Jim especially, because he was talking about rebuilding civilization with beer and stuff because he was like, beer is the backbone of civilization. <laughs> um, and he, and then Morgan uh, was laughing. He was like, yeah, it's kind of funny because I, I am the place I'm trying to go to is doing exactly that, you know, rebuilding civilization. So, you know, Morgan got the group to go, um, want, want, he got the group to, you know, want to come with him to Alexandria, but then they kind of turned on him. Uh, Morgan fell and he was kind of surrounded by walkers. And, um, they just basically asked for directions and lied to him that they would help him get out, but they didn't. And then, he, and then he left or they left and they left Morgan behind. Uh, but Morgan did give the wrong directions. I knew he would do that smart move, Morgan. You know, he's been alive in the apocalypse long enough to know that. Uh, but let's talk about Morgan when he was in this, you know, on top of the car with the, um, walkers, because I did like this. Um, but I feel like. 
I don't know. I, I mean, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about Morgan's. I mean, Morgan, you know, his dilemma. Because I feel like now, towards the end, he's okay. But I think this might have been, like, one of the final times we saw Morgan like that. But I don't know why he was so upset about leaving the people back in um, Texas. Like, I don't. I mean, I understand, like, they're good characters and they're cool. Especially John Dory. Like, he built a friendship with John Dory. But... That shouldn't even be a dilemma for Morgan because he knows these people in Alexandria from the beginning. Like Rick was the first person he met during this apocalypse. I mean, I mean, Rick was the first person Morgan met, but yeah, like Morgan was on his own with his son when he met Rick. So I don't even think it should really be a dilemma for Morgan to be like, I don't know if I want to go back to Alexandria or go help the people. But Morgan's a nice guy. You know, he has some, you know, he, He's been through a lot, you know, he lost himself he, when he lost his family, but I, I get it, but, you know, I feel like that was a little weird, like, why is he even, like, that stressed out about the fact that he left those people behind? Maybe because he got a kind of, like, he lied about it and he kind of felt guilty, I, I understand that, because if I lied about it just to get away, I would feel guilty as well, um... And he built a pretty nice friendship with, um, you know, John. So I understand. But all the other characters weren't that, like, into Morgan. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But uh, Morgan and Althea, I guess, he, he wanted to go back for. But, like, you know, um, Strand, Luciana, um, Ali Althea, or Alicia, Charlie, they, they didn't really like Morgan that much. So I'm not sure what he was stressing out about that much. But who knows? Morgan's a good person. And, you know, he has a good heart. So I understand. So I did like the end, though, when he went back and said, you know, we're going to go back and pick these people up and then we're going to make a few stops. So I think Morgan has finally got himself back. Um, I say that, but it's probably not because Morgan's been through a lot in The Walking Dead. But um, I, I think Morgan's an awesome character. And a lot of that has to do with Lenny James. You know, each episode, I think his performance is like awesome. Um, you know, that scene when he was on top of the cars and he was like begging for help. Like, that actually got me a little, like, that actually got me a little. I was like, damn. Like, I actually felt bad for Morgan. And a lot of that has to do with Lenny's, like, the way he was, like, you know, like, asking for help. Like, I think he's an amazing actor. Um, and I, I, I can tell why they sent him off to fear to be, like, the lead of the show. Uh, but one more thing I want to talk about before I wrap up is the storm. Because I am very, very disappointed in what the storm was. Because I really thought, I was so excited for the storm. I thought, and, I, and if you guys saw my other Fear to Walk in the videos, you know I, what I've been talking about. Because I was like, yeah, we're going to get to the storm. We're going to see these characters in the storm and deal with the storm. And how are they going to, you know, survive with this different change in atmosphere or like weather and just this new old, whole new like environment for them. You know, um, they've never really been through something like this. We haven't seen something like this in The Walking Dead. I was so excited for it. But then, you know, I feel like the only purpose of the storm was to just for Charlie and Althea's or not Althea, Charlie and Alicia's episode. That's it. So they can, you know, talk with each other. But I don't know. I was just so disappointed that we didn't get more storm. But I mean, they are kind of doing like, um, you know, um, episodes like each, like I wouldn't say filler episodes. I don't know how you, what you want to call it, but each episode is like only a few characters in it. So I feel like we're going to get a little bit of the storm throughout the season, but I just wish we got more of the storm, but I guess we're not. Maybe we are. We're going to have to wait and see. But overall, this episode I did like because I think Morgan is awesome. Um, the, the only problems I had was the storm and then the dilemma because um, I don't understand what, what Morgan was. I, I mean, I, I, I understand, but I feel like it shouldn't have been that big of a deal. And I feel like it was a little too dramatic. But um, overall, I did enjoy the episode. I think these three new characters have some potential. Um, especially Wendell and Sarah, I think they can be great uh, over the top for me. But I'm gonna wrap it up there. Overall, I did enjoy the episode. So in the comments down below, you leave your thoughts and opinions about the uh, about Fear the Walking Dead in the comments down below. What you think is gonna happen next? What you guys think uh, this episode? What you guys thought about this episode? So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support on these videos. And it's been all things film. And until next time, peace.